What's up everyone? I'm back with a new series of games that I don't know why I'm starting this, but I'm gonna try and do it anyway. This is gonna be the Let's Cry series, where I play games that are overall just horrible in general. I, did I just say general and overall? Whatever. Um, yeah, bad games, just bad in general, it's just the graphics, the gameplay, story, anything like that, just bad. So, is this my... Shit. Hold on. Shit. <laughs> uh... Yeah, this game's stupid because it doesn't have multiple uh, game files. Let's just hope this one doesn't already have this stupid game on it. Yeah, so if you couldn't already tell, playing Sonic the Hedgehog 06. Also known as the worst Sonic game ever made. So, best way to start this series playing a, a game that pretty much everyone already knows is horrible, just it's my job to show you why this game is an unholy abomination, and I'm not going to enjoy it that much, but I'm going to try. Try my best. Uh, the frame rate on the cutscene's already messing up. Fuck you and get out of my Sonic series, please. I mean, she, Princess Elise, she is one of the reasons why this game is unredeemable. Like, the gameplay's bad, yes, but when your story for a Sonic game can't even hold up, you know you're doing something wrong. It's all right. Bowing to the freaking Pope. We give thanks for the blessed flames. May we always continue to have peace. Son of Soliana, guide and watch over us with your eternal light. Thank you, Eggman. Just please stop this nonsense. A pleasure to meet you at last, Princess. Why are you so skinny? I am Dr. Eggman. I've come here to obtain the secret of the flames of disaster from you. And to take the miracle gems that are the key to its secret, the Chaos Emerald. Now, Princess, this way, please. Wow, that's a pretty snazzy performance there. <gasps> you? Because it isn't. They're two completely different colors. We'll, we'll get into that later. God. Here, take a good look at it, folks, because this is as good as it's gonna get. I'm Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Not that irritating hedgehog again. Attack! Don't even get me started, Zelda. God damn it. And then the unholy loading screens. Oh. That's the shortest one in the entire game, folks. Why are you helping me? 
No special reason. Sonic! <gasps> I'm afraid our little game ends now. And don't worry, I'll rest. Why? I know. How? <laughs> it's only a matter of time before it's mine. Until then, you can hold on to it for me. You know, that's the most obvious battleship I've ever seen in the world. Like, in any type of media I've ever seen, I've never seen a ship more obvious than that. Like, I guess he just wants himself to be seen by everyone. I mean, whatever. What's Eggman up to? I need to gather some information. Oh, don't tell me that. I don't want to talk to people. It's a Sonic game. I should be running. Uh, let's just start this train wreck. <laughs> it already begins with the voice actors. Tails, long time no see. I'm glad you're here. I heard that you tried to save. Why is your mouth not even moving? You're going to rescue her, aren't you? Let me help. I mean, your mouth's not open. But it can't be a good thing. Okay, with your help. This should be a piece of cake. <laughs> I'll do my best. Did they not even try to lip sync these words? I mean, they didn't even try. God. So. Wait, why is this- Oh god, don't- And there's no- God! This is already annoying me, since they inverted the right analog stick controls. But didn't- Like, they inverted left and right, but not up and down. Oh god. Cool. Yeah, here's already one of the big problems with this stupid game. Is these side missions. They- There's tons that you don't need to do. That just get you rings so you can buy more useless junk. But then there's the ones that you need to do. That if you fail them because the game either cheats you out of it. Or they're just stupid to begin with. <laughs> then you have to start this entire thing over. Go through all the loading screens. All over again. And it's just an endless cycle of stupidity. And the fact that they load a cutscene in between the loading of the mini game Is just even worse. It's just, why? How would you do this? So at least this is simple, just go through the rings, try and control yourself to fall through there since he starts jerking around like a moron. <laughs> Great. Just, yes, you're not, you don't want money, you're just gonna give me shoes, but then you're gonna give me money. Yeah, like, the baseline for all these mini-games and the incredible. side missions is you get over 30,000 points, you get an S rank, and you get 1,000 rings. Woo. And the rings are obviously going to be the currency for everything else in this game, but... The only things you can really buy with them are abilities necessary to go through each level, or later, for Sonic at least, it's like chaos nonsense that you put in your shoes to make your shoes turn different colors and do different things. Um, and then for Shadow and Silver, it's other bullshit, but let's just keep going. Or you, I already know where we need to go, we just need... Um, wait, shit, I didn't buy this. See, yeah, I know I know where to go, except I didn't uh, uh, do what we need to do to actually get to the next level. That's just great. Hey, 
and you can buy light chips so you can do the light speed dash. So we can get across the water and go to the first level. And then I can cry myself to sleep. When you get close to a trail of rings, press the X button to do a light dash. Good job dying, Tails. Good job. It's not that you could fly or anything. You know what's funny? In Sonic 3, Tails could pick you up and fly around with you. Nope. Couldn't just pick me up and fly me across. Nope. Just falls in the water and drowns. Great. So, since this is a new series, uh, I want your recommendations for other games to play in this series. I mean, if I get enough recommendations for a certain game, I'll go get it. And if I don't already have it, yeah, I'll just go get it. Depends what it is. So, leave suggestions in the comments. Oh god, what the frame rate? Come on. It's impossible to control thing. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? That's how we're gonna start this? With that kind of nonsense already? You know, you're not making your case, Sonic. This game is already looking bad. I just started. I mean, look at this. They could have done so much with this. This could have been a really good game if, one, they had tried harder in the development stage, and two, if Microsoft wasn't such a money-grabbing whore and let them actually finish the game. Because at this point, it's not really a finished game. It's really broken. Like, I look at this as more of an alpha than, like, a final release. I mean... This is bad. It just feels wrong. Like, people... I know some people that have actually tried comparing Sonic Unleashed to how bad this is. And to them, I'm just like, how? You can't compare these two. At least Sonic Unleashed is a finished game. I can play it. This one, it's broken to hell. And I hear people that complain about Sonic Unleashed, about the Werehog and how it doesn't belong in the game and it ruins everything, like, Sonic Unleashed is one of my favorite Sonic games, like, I really liked everything about it, in the Werehog segments, I felt like they were a necessary change of pace from just the regular speed through a, a level in, like, two minutes or less. They need something to, you know, put some length into the game, it can't just all be running sections or else it'd be the same game, which it technically kind of is in all of these, but, like, it'd be the same thing every time you play it. There's no variety if you do that, so... I mean, I commend them for the Werehog. I don't have any gripes with it, really. So, I'll eventually... Like, I have a playthrough of Sonic Unleashed on here, but... I didn't think the quality, at least the voice quality, was, you know, not up to par. So I might revisit that at some point, but... That's for a later date. Right now, we're on Let's Cry. So... What is the... Oh, come on! Just... See, here's the problem with Tails. Why is his attack rings? Rings that just blend in with all the other rings. It just makes it impossible to know that if, when you get hit, your rings go bouncing around places too, and then you don't know where yours are, and then you can't collect them, and it's stupid, and why would they ever make this attack? Great. Thank you, Tails. You saved How? How did he save you? Look. You got yourself stuck in a whale for some reason. I, don't, I really don't understand that. But you got yourself stuck in a whale. You're flip flopping around. He throws you not even in the direction of how you get over the gate. But even you fly over the gate, you wouldn't even land on land. Past the gate was nothing but water. So what? What? Oh, okay. Whatever. <laughs> Darn, we're not gonna make it. Okay, so now the egg carrier's here. Just no reason. So, this is one of the reasons that this game is literally one of the most broken things ever. These mock speed sections, they are broken. Look at that. Like, I rubbed up against the railing and lost all my rings. God. Oh, God. Whenever you push the direction, he just jerks around. He's impossible to control.